You want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Omar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. Omar. Uh-huh? They've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's Shit. No. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss off, you're spoiling the reception. Omar? Who are you? you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. The answer's the same. Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? I blew up my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. Did you hear? They're forcing our kids to work now. Are you okay? They're coming after me. 
Are you Pablo? Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. That doesn't sound good. What the hell got into him? He used to bring us ten people a week. You ask me, it's that brother business. Always unionization. <laughs> are the fines here even worth it? They are on the black market. True, almost 100% markup. Whatever we get for them. When what? He won't want Dominguez knowing Take about casualties. They can't be far. Oh shit. Uh. Gotta clear the area. Okay. All right. Need to get back to the village. Gather your things and go back to the village. Bless you. Thank you. See him? Pablo? Yeah, he was running toward Abyss. Good, I hope he's okay.
Bien, entonces. ¿Es que no me ve, señora? Cuidado, señorita. Ay, no, no, no. Pablo told me what you did. I I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. <laughs>